Greetings and welcome to my new calculus channel. My name is John Gabriel and today I'll be speaking about the spiral of Theodorus and discussing a video that was posted by a Greek mathematician on YouTube. So let's begin. Now what you see in front of you here is the spiral of Theodorus. Okay and most of you will recognize this. It's just uh, showing how uh, we get to realize the incommensurable magnitudes, as well as commensurable magnitudes, magnitudes such as square root 2, square root 3, 4, etc. And we also know that, for example, the square root of 4 is 2, so it's a commensurable magnitude, and so is the square root of 9 and the square root of 16. So in his video, uh, this is a video, it's actually quite a, a, a good video by uh, Nikos Papoulas. So this is a gentleman here and he's got a lot of interesting videos. Uh, he's uh, a lecturer of mathematics, uh, physics, chemistry and applied mathematics. So he's a very knowledgeable man. And uh, uh, his videos are generally very interesting and very uh, well explained. So um, what I'm going to focus on now is the fact that these constructions are not really part of the elements or part of uh, the, the, not part of actually understanding the concept of number. So, uh, What's happening here is that we see a way of realizing these failed measures. So, for example, square root 2, square root 3, etc. And the interesting part if, is when one looks at the comments. So, I, I looked at this comment here by some one called Airson, and it says, um, do, there ex do there exist irrational numbers uh, of which they cannot be constructed geometrically. Now, that question is a little silly because you cannot construct numbers to begin with. But uh, I wrote quite a long response and here's my response and I'll tell you what it is. So uh, what, I, what I answered here is I said that it's kind of silly to talk about constructing numbers because numbers cannot be constructed. They're actually measures of ratios of magnitudes. So, in reality, and of course, uh, one, of, one of the previous comments here said, uh, well, actually, Nikos Papoulos himself said that uh, the circle could not be squared. And of course, he, he means using a, a uh, ruler and compass. But the, the tools of geometry are, are merely there for explaining the concepts. They're not required. And Archimedes did, in fact, square the circle, not with a, a straight edge and ruler, but he squared it using spirals. And so that's uh, one of the things I addressed here. I said, in reality, Archimedes did square the circle, uh, even though he didn't do it using a ruler and a straight edge. And then, of course, um, I'm addressing Nikos here and I'm telling, you, telling him these things that he's constructing are not numbers. Um, they're simply constructions which are symptoms of measure. In other words, they're symptoms or signs of measure. So um, a number is really just the measure of a ratio of magnitudes, okay, using the abstract unit. And so this is a very important concept because hardly anyone, actually no one I've ever met really understands it. So in geometry, uh, we can produce ratios uh, as shown below using uh, a chosen unit, right? So if we choose, let's say this is a unit and I used the pound sign or the hash key or the hash sign because it's easier than using the underscore. So this here could be uh, a unit mag a unit magnitude uh, I'm sorry a unit ratio and we call 
the part, this part here, uh, before the colon, the part that is being measured, and the part after the colon, the part that we use to measure the one in front. So this is a unit, okay? And it uh, really, in, in essence, a unit is any ratio of, of equal magnitudes which we, which we choose as a standard of measure. So in physics, there is no ideal unit. You can choose any uh, unit you like, but that's not the case in, in algebra. Okay, in algebra, we don't even care about the size of the unit. All we care is that the unit can be divided into any number of equal parts, and we don't, again, once again, do not care about the size of those, part, those parts any more than we care about the size of the unit. And so uh, we can proceed to show that in addition to the unit, we can create uh, new ratios, such as this one here, which is uh, whose measure is two, okay? The measure of this ratio is two, the measure of this ratio is three, four, etc. okay? And then the next step is to uh, arrive at the concept of fraction, which is really just a ratio of numbers. So if these are numbers, then a fraction could be written as follows, as you see over here where I've highlighted. So this, the measure of this fraction would be 3 over 1, right? 3 over 1. And we, we basically give these measured parts, the measured parts, this part, we give it a name 2, we give this a name 3, this a name 4, right? And uh, of course, we can we we can drop the 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 sign of the unit, which is this part here, and just write it as 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 what you see highlighted there. Okay, because we're using an abstract unit. So so the measure of this particular ratio that I've highlighted here is three quarters, and and in conclusion. A number is a name that is given to a measure that describes a magnitude or a size, okay? That's all that we understand from number. So, uh, and it's funny when you, not funny, it's quite interesting when you read all these, these other uh, comments, you know, and this one here says, uh, uh, he didn't realize that such a mathematician existed in ancient Greece. Uh, he didn't know of Theodorus. So even even <laughs> these people who are Greeks don't really study their history that well. And uh, well, anyway, so I'm going to leave it at that. You can uh, comment and ask me questions in, in the comment section, and I'll try to get to them and answer whenever I can. Um, this stuff is very interesting, and also uh, Papoulas gives a very interesting uh, geometrical perspective on a lot of his videos, which is something, unfortunately, that is not done by many lecturers of mathematics. So uh, these videos are good to watch. Uh, too bad they're all in Greek, and most of you do not understand Greek, but they do impart very deep understanding. Um, if you're not already a subscriber, become one, and also you can contribute to my efforts on Odyssey, where you can uh, either forward credits or dollars, whichever you choose, spread the news on my channel, tell your friends about it, help me to build a sizable number of subscribers so that eventually I might earn something out of this, out of all this effort that I've already uh, expended in trying to make mathematics clearer and easier to all. I'm John Gabriel. This is a new calculus channel. Till next time, goodbye.